Hello everyone, some good news here. So Russia has lost the ability to carry out human spaceflight for the first time since 1961, as the Baikonur launch pad has collapsed. This is launch site 31, the only one that Russia has for launching crewed and cargo missiles to the ISS, so it's an important facility. The next launch from there was scheduled for late December. Interestingly, the other launch site that Russia had was closed because it relied heavily on electronics produced in Ukraine, which Russia couldn't get anymore. So launch site 31 became the only one they had, and now this is out of action as well. This before and after photo here shows the damage much clearer so you can see it. So you can see that in the blast trench there's a bunch of debris, which once was the service cabin of his launch pad. It's completely collapsed and now is in the bottom of the trench. So, pretty bad news for Russia. I imagine this is going to be a costly and difficult fix. So, what happened to it here? Well, I did a bit of digging online, and this happened after the launch of a manned Soyuz rocket heading to the ISS. During the launch, damage was caused to the service cabin, which is used to access the lower stages of the rocket. The Twitter page Russian Space Web says that a shield is supposed to be positioned to protect this service cabin after retraction. But the shield failed to deploy, and so the service cabin took the full brunt of a blast during the launch, causing it to collapse into the fire trench below. I'm not sure if a failure for the shield to deploy is due to shoddy maintenance, so a mechanical fault caused it to fail, or if Russia deployed cosmonaut Numnutikov to operate this and he just forgot to do so. On this image here, to the right, you can see the blast shield, so that is what failed to deploy here. It isn't known how long repairs will take, but some early estimates say that it's going to be up to two years. So, bad news for Russia. Now, interestingly, Russia did plan to modernise this Cosmodrome and carry out much needed maintenance work. But this has faced severe delays thanks to underfunding, in part because of the invasion of Ukraine and Russian funds needed to support operations there. So Russia's three-day operation now has led to them losing the ability to carry out manned space flights. Great job there, Putin. So that's it for this video. Not much else to discuss here, but definitely worth a look at for. Playing now is a video from United24 Media about the new campaign that we're doing to raise money for surgery items to help people who have lost their sight during the war. Medical centers in Ukraine lack the necessary equipment needed to carry out this type of surgery. So this is an important fundraiser which United24 are doing. The donation link is in the description. Thanks so much and take care everybody.